Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that currently Deloitte NLA hiring is going on for 2025 batch students. So there were exams yesterday also, today also, and day after, uh, like day before yesterday also, there were exams that were going on. So many of you requested me, sir, please make the videos of the actual questions which are getting asked in these exams. So in this particular video, what I have done, I will be discussing total three coding questions which were actually asked in Deloitte NLA exam that happened on 24th, 3rd and 24th of January. Okay, so this video will be short because believe me, very easy questions are getting asked in the Deloitte NLA exam. Okay, believe me that. So guys, now let's start this video. Before starting the video, if you are still preparing for the Deloitte NLA, so this is the playlist for you. We have for every different different sections, we have different dedicated videos on this playlist. Lot of people have benefited from this playlist in the past one week. You can also check out this playlist. The link of this playlist I will give you in the i button or in the description box. I know many of you will be having your exam today and uh, some are having tomorrow also but the number is quite less. So don't worry. Make sure to watch this video till the end so that you can get the know the idea of the questions. Okay. So guys, now let's start this video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for motivating us for making more such videos. Okay, so let's just discuss the first question first. Okay, so guys, the first question is, and believe me, like all the three questions are very easy, but let's just see. So first question is, at a university, some students are not interested in learning structural programming. As a solution, their professor has assigned them a task to write a program st string by removing the occurrences of letters that are present in the word structural from the input string. Again, very easy. See, let's just see uh, straight away with the help of example. So we are given an input string, okay? And we are given, there is, this is the structural word that is given to us. What we need to do, if any letter from the input string is coming in structural word, we have to remove that, okay? So <clears throat> let's just iterate over the string and see. So see, L, is coming in structural so answer is yes l is coming here so we have removed that l in the output string o is coming in the structural no o is not coming v is coming in the structural no v is not coming a is coming in the structural no a is also not coming uh, sorry a is coming so therefore we have removed a also so sample output is ov the input string will be always in uh, uppercase okay and if any letter of the input string is coming in the word structural, we will have to simply remove that character in the output string. This is the simple question that you can get in the exam. Now, let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question. It's very simple. Okay. Now, see what I have done. We have taken string as input. Okay. It is quite possible that in your exam, you just have to implement the function. You do not have to take input or output. But for this video, I am telling you. Now, what we have done, we have made an ordered map. Hash map we have made. Okay. And we have placed every value in this structural. Okay, every uh, letter in the structural we have placed in the hash map key value pair. Okay, now what we are doing, we will be iterating over the input string. We will be iterating over the input string. At every step, we will be checking whether that particular value, okay, whether that particular character is present in the hash map or not. If it is present in the hash map, so what we will be doing, if it is not present in the hash map, what we will be doing, we will be adding it into the answer variable and we will be returning the entire string. But if it is present in the hash map, we will not add into add that character into our answer string and we will move on towards the next character. Okay, now let's just see. So we have lower as our input string. Let's just run it. So answer should be O and V because these both are not present in the hash map. So you can see O, V are there. So yeah, this is a simple this was a simple question and simple code. Okay, this was the first one. Now let's move towards the second question. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not done it till now. Okay, so guys, on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have Deloitte NLA preparation material also. So if you do not know from where you should prepare for your exam, then this preparation material can be helpful for you. If you will open this material, you will find that it, there are total seven PDFs that you will be getting inside this preparation material. All these PDFs are corresponding to different different sections that will be coming in your exam. So the questions in these PDFs, in these respective PDFs are from the previous year Deloitte exams only. So if you will open any of these PDFs, let me just show you the sample. Let's suppose this apt PDF you open. So you will see that we have proper question, options, answer and explanation for it. 
okay similarly for the coding also we have question and code similarly for the cloud pdfs also we have question options and answers plus explanation also so if you do not know from where to prepare okay this material can be very much beneficial for you okay it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 and a coupon code of 15 percent is also available on this channel the, all the description all the information regarding this you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment and also if you want preparation material for different different companies also so we are providing a package also in which we are providing infosys cap gemini accenture tcs and qt deloitte and preparation material in that package this package will be beneficial for you and 15 percent coupon code is applicable on this package also so all the relevant details i will put in the description box if you want to prepare for any of these companies do check them out and the coupon code is valid for first 50 people okay so guys the second question is given numbers a decimal number d num and a binary number b num of the same length generate another number result by concatenating all the digits of d num whose corresponding binary digit in b num is 1 in the same order print the result as the output so yeah question is confusing don't worry let's just quickly move through the sample input we are given an input number okay this is a string and we are given an output output string okay sorry two input strings are given now see both of these strings length are equal okay it will always be equal now we have to make a new string okay and we have to return those numbers whose corresponding values are one in the b num so this is b num and this is d num okay now see uh, what are the characters whose corresponding values are 1? So 1, the corresponding value of 1 is 1. The corresponding value of 2 is 0. The corresponding value of 3 is 1. Similarly for 4 is 0 and 5 is 1. So all those values in the D num whose corresponding value in the B num is 1, we have to print those. So here 1, 3 and 5 are those values whose corresponding value are 1. So therefore we have printed 1, 3, 5. For 2 and 4, the corresponding values were 0. Therefore, we have not included 2 and 4 in this. So, I hope now the question is clear to you. Again, a very simple question. Let's now quickly move towards the coding part of this question. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, first of all, we have taken two strings as input. We will be iterating over the string, okay, we, because both the length of the strings are same. So, any string we can hover on. We will be taking an, another answer input, initializing with empty. Now, we will be checking. For if for the corresponding uh, b num or uh, d num, if the string if the character at d uh, b num is one, so if str two of i is double equal to one, then we'll add str one of i. Okay, str two is b num and str one is d num. So we'll be adding that character into the answer variable if the corresponding value is one. Otherwise, we will not do anything. So we are simply printing c out answer. So this is a b c d and this is one double zero one. So if I will output it, it should come out to be A and D. Okay, A and D should be the output of this question because corresponding values are 1 here. So let's just see A and D are the values. If I will make it 1 and 1, like all the things should be included. So answer should be A, B, C, D. Okay. Yeah. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Again, it was a very simple question. Let's move towards the third question. Okay, so now the third question is, you are given a sentence str you need to modify sentence by placing do not in front of it again a very simple question sample input is like like coffee and sample output will be do not like coffee so do not we are just placing in front of that input string that let like, just quickly move towards the code it's really simple so we have taken input as string and we are simply doing it do not string do not plus string and if we are placing coffee it will be do not coffee it's just like basic question i know you won't believe that these are actual questions but these are actual questions you can go on telegram you can see the screenshots of students sending there are various groups there that are where the screenshots of actual questions are there you can confirm by yourself okay so i hope now all the three questions are clear to you if you have any request for different different any other company any other section questions that i need i want to make i can do that i i uh, I also make interview experiences for different different companies. You can write in the comment section for which company you want the interview experience for. Okay. So this was all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for motivating us. Okay. Thank you.